what was this? Hello, my next few videos will be about camera equipment, mostly for GoPro, like this fully 3D printed ball head with very interesting excenter mechanism. There is a video about it, the link is in the description. And in this video, I'm designing 3D printing and testing Arc of Seas to GoPro mount adapter. And I will test two different materials, I will test also different print directions. The reason why I'm doing this is, uh, is that recently I broke my GoPro mount adapter, which is attached to the Arc of Seas plate. I ordered a new now, it's very cheap, but uh, I have to wait more than one month that are, uh, to arrive from the China. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to design this and uh, I would like to design uh, mount and uh, Arcosis plate in combination. Second reason is that I'm working on panoramic head for GoPro. This one is for DSLR camera and, can, and it cannot be used with the GoPro and it's too big anyway. And I want this GoPro mount and Arqua Swiss plate to be part of this panoramic head and I must be sure that they will work correctly. So that's why I need these experiments and I'm sharing my results with you now. And how will I test it? Well, I, I improvise this, my t testing equipment. So I have these two uh, plates which will go inside the tested object. And I will place a uh, this is hanging weight scale and I will see when will it break. Not too professional, but uh, for me it will be fine. And also I will recalculate the real mass if it would be in on the location of the GoPro because the length in my testing torque was 76 millimeters and the mass point of the GoPro is approximately 35 millimeters. Our results we can see later in this video. I will test PLA and PETG. ABS will be possible to use because of its UV resistance, but um, I don't like to print ABS. Uh, it's, it's not too healthy. Okay, so my first uh, 3D printed objects are only for testing. And then, uh, according to results, I will do the final design of this Arcosis to GoPro mount adapter. Let's see the main dimensions of the mount. Everything is around three millimeters, the plastic and the gap also. Of course, the plastic is in minus tolerance and the gap is in plus tolerance. So for example, plastic is 2.9 and the gap is 3.2, 3.3 or similar. Since I don't have three millimeter plate, only two millimeters, my testing equipment will be with a three millimeter of plastic, but gap will be only two millimeters on my design. Here you can see the dimensions of the base. As you can see, the plastic is just a little bit below three millimeters, so 2.95 in my case. And the gap is 2.2 in my case. On real GoPro, it should be 3.2, for example. And height of this element is 18 millimeters. And hole uh, should be five millimeter a little bit uh, above five. In my case, it is four millimeter because uh, only this is the size of the hole on my metallic plates for testing. On the bottom, there is an M8 thread. Uh, this is for the mounting until my experiment. This is PLA. Left side it was printed in vertical position, right side in horizontal position. Removing of the supports was very easy, no need for any tools. Let's mark this. And this is now PTG. Left side again is in uh, vertical position. This will be probably weaker, it depends a lot of the layer adhesion. Now let's see the testing. I expected this, especially with the version where it was printed horizontally, the screw couldn't go in, but I have a correct tool for this. So this is M8 tap tool. And after it, uh, the screw goes in very easily. And let's put this 
test probe together. This is just to secure when it's break, not fall down the, the scale. Okay, this is the PLA with the horizontal layer, right? So this, this should be the weakest. Okay, I need better, bigger weight. Not bad. 10 kilograms. It's bending a lot. Five. Oh, I heard a crack on six kilograms. As expected. The layer adhesion but uh, six kilograms more than six kilograms not bad this is PLA printed in horizontal position two three four five six seven eight nine, 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 nine. I'm pulling it down eleven twelve Thirteen. Okay, thirteen point four. Look at this break. PTG printed in vertical position, so again, weak layer effect. What was this? We clear attention. I'm very surprised and disappointed. And this is now PTG printed in horizontal position, so theoretically this should be the strongest, but I don't know, we will see. Three, okay, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The full weight of the tank is on it. I'm pulling it down now. Oh, yes, twelve. 13 oh. And this is how it broke the last piece So it broke down but it's still on it so that's that's why I like it even if it breaks it doesn't fall off completely and look where it broke here and here So the weakest was the PTG printed in vertical position because of the weak layer adhesion it break very very quickly I'm not sure what happened maybe the temperature was too low or something like that Next was the PLA again the weak layer adhesion you can see it breaks suddenly all three uh, plates broke down and very surprised present surprise was the PTG printed in uh, vertical position so sorry in horizontal position and it was very strong, also the same strong as PTG, but the, I like the PTG better because here actually I feel it when it will break. So the, the PLA breaks too suddenly and here I can actually feel that it will break so I can take the load off or something like that. So this will be my choice, the PTG, but as you can see, not so the material, but the printing position is much more important in this case. I couldn't stop he here. I have to repeat that test with the failed PTG. 
the previous one printed uh, with the plus and PETG it requires a little bit higher printing temperature so now I replace it I am printing with the uh, Gamebird PETG and uh, also I raise the temperature a little bit and uh, I hope this will give me some normal results because this was very disappointing I couldn't sleep if I don't repeat this test uh, again. I know the PETG should uh, provide much better results. We will see soon when it, this will be finished. much better so this is what I expected at the beginning pity that I had to repeat this test to success so this will be my, my decision and also I will use exactly this PETG material in my final version let's see quickly the dimensions let's start with this base these are plastic parts and these are gaps between them This is the profile of the mount and it's important it will be pr printed on this side so this is 45 degree overhang and then it, this can be printed without problem only the sur the hole uh, also again this will be printed overhang bridging overhang this is the profile for the, for the m5 nut holder but it cannot be in air, it will be printed from this surface, so here I needed this 45 degree overhang and this can be printed, because I don't want to use the supports. And let's see the Arca Swiss uh, profile. These dimensions I found on internet, the only dimension I couldn't find is this 6 millimeters. I measured for my existing, it has to be bigger than 5.5, so that's why I took here the 6 millimeters. Okay, let's print this. So this is my old setup and this is how it looks like now. One big disadvantage of this version that I don't have these screws which prevent the slipping if you don't hold it and you lose the screw in the Arca Swiss clamp. But it's okay, for GoPro it's, it's light camera anyway. Let's put this is M5 nut. And don't squeeze it like this, always only pull this. If necessary use the screw, but only when the GoPro is inside. And now I have all required information so I can finish my panoramic head for GoPro and I hope you will follow me to that video too. Thank you for watching. Bye.